welcome to Megan's Bee Natural. I'm going to show you today how to process peas. I just picked a bunch from our garden and there's no way we're going to eat them all um, today or in the next couple of days. So I'm going to process them, uh, blanch them, dry them, and freeze them. And then them. you give them a little pull, take those little strings off. And that's what I've done for all of my peas. They're just sitting here on the tea towel. And what I'm about to do is put them into a bucket of boiling water. So I'm going to put your peas in for 90 seconds. When that's done, you take them out and put them into a cold water bath. Oh, okay, it's been 90 seconds. We're going to scoop them out of here. Let it drip a bit. And off we go to... I'm just going to leave the peas in the ice bath for about 90 seconds. You can see they're nice and bright green. Um, and then we will transfer them to the colander and pour all the water off. And then we need to dry them with our tea towel before we bag them up. Alright, so the peas have been transferred to the colander. You can hear it's draining. I'm just going to give it a minute or two in there to drain off all the water. And then I'm going to transfer them to this tea towel. Okay, so I've laid the peas out on a clean, dry tea towel. Um, I'm just going to let them dry a bit. I'm going to flip them over and dry the other side. It's really important that before you freeze your peas, you try to get all the moisture off of them so that they don't get freezer burnt. Okay, so I've got my little food saver here and I've done up some bags that it's a garden peas on them. And we're just going to go over here, get our peas out of the tea towel, pop them in the bag, and then seal them up. Distributed evenly. I like to put just enough that we're probably going to eat, maybe enough for a pasta or enough for a side dish. It's just my husband and I. So I don't want to do all of these peas in one bag because if I defrost them, chances are I'm not going to use them all. And then, you know, it'll have been a waste. Just enough in each bag. So now, using the handy dandy food saver, just going to pop it in. I'm going to use the um, vacuum seal so it's going to get noisy and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. We have vacuum packed garden peas. Pretty amazing.